we have seen or heard them on stage sublime in performance what goes on in their minds what lies behind the choices they make the paths they choose here is a glimpse into an artist's mind an exploration of an artist's journey both in art and in life with a treasury of insights it is about who they become as they evolve into artists their transformation through the struggles in that journey discover the human behind the artist i was not initiated into carnatic music very early so i never listened to concerts and all those things i had a lot of work to do there a lot of catching up to do so every concert i had to prove myself and my guru was very particular that i sing well i don't make a mistake because the blame shouldn't fall on her sometimes i always enjoyed singing for just general public not as particular or sabha with a lot of eyes watching <laughs> where you're going wrong you have to sing with freedom <laughs> there, should, there should not be any pressure up in chennai although i have roots from palakkad and trichur palakkad my mother and trichur uh, my great grandmother my father of course and uh, i have a little telugu blood as well which many many may not know uh, so that was my great grandfather dr k n kesari who was uh, an ayurvedic physician so we are a uh, family into ayurveda for the last 120 years that still continues my father and mother uh, we still continue that tradition and i am also uh, into that uh, business now i am also because somebody has to take it forward so my great grandfather uh, his first uh, wife uh, passed away quite early without uh, issues of children so and then he married uh, a malayali from trichur that's my great grandmother and who was also a musician it was the komatil family so uh, we had two uh, musicians komatil shantakumari and komatil janaki both of them were uh, disciples of uh, gnb sir they used to perform a lot that is my father's side of the uh, music and then my mother uh was also very multifaceted she was very talented in in the sense she could sing she could act she used to do mono acting she used to do harigatha when she was very young but then you know very uh, conservative family very protective about uh, girls she couldn't really come out and uh, perform or you know uh, those by the days when people used to uh you know control and they didn't want the children to go into dance or music and that kind of things she always had that uh passion for music and dance and uh, uh drama and this harikatha and i was also uh watching all that and then the music she used to sing and i used to sing along with her that's how the music actually started my strongest childhood memories were uh, playing cricket cars i used to love toys and 
cars. So when I was five, my mother bought me a little uh, one of those matchbox um, uh, car models, and I still have it with me. <laughs> so I'm so possessive about it. I never even gave it to my my children to Krishna, <laughs> and they know that I don't like <laughs> them using my. Cars. So, <laughs> my father used to be a cricketer. He's played a lot of um, senior level cricket, and uh, that's how I got interested. Uh, and he used to encourage me, and uh, I used to go for his matches, and that's how I got into uh, cricket. We had a large house then, and we we could uh, play cricket inside the house. I still remember, you know, those the the house which my great grandfather built. Kesari Kutiram, it was called. We had glass panes and glass windows, chandeliers uh, all around the house. I mean, this, in the British time, uh, cutting on the weird marble flooring and all those things. You know, I was playing cricket inside house. I ended up breaking a lot of window panes. So then my father said, "You don't play with the regular. I mean, at least uh, the uh, tennis ball, but I'll get you a badminton ball." Playing with a small ball, it really helped me hone my cricketing skills as well. So, so that was also a blessing in disguise. So I used to play inside. I was the only child, so sometimes you know I used to call my grandmother to play, and she uh, she used to sit on a chair and she used to throw the ball. <laughs> and I used to hit the ball and then go get the ball and then give it back to her. And then she's, you know, things uh, lovely uh, uh, memories and and so much of. Playing, I did in my childhood, which I think uh, children now uh, really miss. I mean, I, I really feel sorry for them because it's so many other distractions. They have other avenues. They have the phone, which is most <laughs> I would call it probably a curse. Sometimes uh, there was nothing else. There was no no television. Television came much later during the kite season. You know. All the kites would come across, you know, on the manja, noel, and the woody park was go and catch all those kites. And then I had a huge collection of kites. <laughs> those were lovely. Uh, going back, thinking of those days, it's beautiful. Actually. Um, my first guru, I would say, is my mother. Her guru was Venkatramana Bhagavadar. That was Maharaj Param uh, Vishwanathayar, or a disciple, our Venkatramana Bhagavadar. She'll say, "Come and come." Any va vandu oka oka the kajanayaro oka the kele. Then I'll go and sit there for some time. Then I'll run off. Then we used to have a lot of um, saptaham. We would like. In the Narayana Jabam, and my grandfather and you know grandmother, they were a lot into this the puja. Katha lenda armichu, the puja murchidu dan sabdu anga. And Marilla, and the kalo irundu. So Narayana and the Mari Sapta hum vetla narako. So we had lot of these discourses happening, and uh, just go on for ten days. People we used to have cooks coming, making food. People used to come morning from from breakfast, lunch, dinner. All that after that, all of them go on. Just used to be. So I used to be there, listening to all these dis discourses. Then um uh, and during the little break, they used to ask me to come. Um, Amma used to call me. I, I'll be playing somewhere, and she'll you know, call for me, and then I'll come and she'll ask me to sing uh, a song or two. So that was the. Bajan and Mary party. It. How did you do it? That's how I started my singing. It was mostly film music at home because up um, under uh, for for any uh, Malayali family, the voice of uh, Jesus Das is uh, it's 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 like a household. Our own music. When the sada. Vitla play panetir pang all his songs, his devotional songs, his film songs. So my introduction to music was through his voice. I was very very inspired by his uh, his singing. So upon we had this tape recorder, you know, somebody uh, one of my uh, dad's cousin, uh, he was in Singapore. So when they came, they bought and they uh, this. 
that was the time when they first introduced the tape recorder and the radio where you could record the uh, radio and, uh, and the songs onto the cassette. And I used to learn those and sing it in competitions. Uh, it used to be all Jaisa sir's songs. One of my aunts uh, said, you must uh, teach him, told my mother, uh, you must teach him Carnatic music. Uh, he can become a good singer. He can really improve his singing. So then uh, Amma found uh, Guru Apada Modalla, uh, my introduction to VL Seshadri. VL uh, Seshadri, our Sri Rangamayanga wrote a disciple. Our, he was such a sweet person. Our Varuvar, now the Kathala Vandana, Amma Tiffin, Nella Sap to our Rukur Bustak on Good Kumuda and the Ananda Vidan, Nadala, all that. Uh, he'll because I'll be, <laughs> I'll be probably I'll, I'll be sleeping or something, or I would have just woken up and then. But our one the uh, he is happy to be there. Wait, we had a nice uh, huge round table and a uh, balcony on the again. All the cart were on the it was uh, south. So, south facing. So, Nalla Kathura Avanga Kandan, Alla Tiffin La Sapta, Pustanala Padicha, Radia. Then I would start my class, and that, that was how I first started uh, uh, learning Carnatic music. But on the arm of Padam and the Rumba Nalla Soli Kutundar, I didn't learn too many Kritis or anything from him. You know, Nareya Ravanda, he used to talk. So I used to like his class. And sometimes music uh, order uh, and it will be more of talking stories. <laughs> we had our class on the first floor. So steps are huge, uh, two uh, staircase and the little. So uh, as soon as he hears my mother coming up, then we'll start singing. <laughs> then after she goes, then we'll again start. Chatting, chatting of some stories and this kada in the kada, and he'll talk about other students. In my kada so I used to be very, uh, I used to enjoy that. Probably I started at the age of 11. Probably four or five years I learnt uh, from him. Appalla, uh, there is no introduction to hardcore classic Carnatic music. I never heard any kacheri or nume kade. Our Badir Varuar is fully good parin and the class la padme, a prom practice on Panta de Pad Amma Solanga, the Pad, the Soli good practice pane Ila and the Aditha class la therapy, our way the practice pane pass. So he used to make me practice. So that's that's about it. That's all the practice I used to do. Introduction to hardcore uh, Carnatic music concerts, musicians, uh, all the greats. Adala, much, much later. It, Okay. He is like a saint, such an amazing person. And he is one person who will say no, 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 uh, we'd go to uh, the TP Coil Street. So, first time I went there, and Madi was in our class. So, enter Pandamoda. The first uh, I, I, I could hear in the Baba Nutana Hridayamunar Mimpumu. So, I just uh, entered, he said, Karanjan. So later, I, I was sitting there. Nareya pair nanga, nareya students nanga, and uh, lot of senior uh, students like uh, Savitri Satyamurthy, anga, and uh, Sita Mani Srinivas and Sita Narayanan. Ye, vengalala arpanga. Abdiye kathala armicha abdiye poite erko class. Abdiye people will come, people will be going. Modella uh, Armitla and the Saralvers Sulikudpare and the exercises Adalla Nadakoru round 
அப்புறம் ஒரு கீர்த்தனை சொல்லி கொடுப்பார் அப்புறம் அந்த கீர்த்தனத்தில் ஸ்வரம் பாட வைப்பார் எல்லோரும் ஒரு ஒரு ரவுண்டு பாடணும் அது பாடலைன்னா ஒரு ஃபைன் போடுவார் சும்மா ஒரு ஒரு ஜஸ்ட் ஒரு தமாஷ் ஓகே ஓ இது இடத்துக்கு வரல பத்து ரூபா ஃபைன் இன்றைக்கி சொல்கிறார் ஸோ இட் வாஸ் வெரி ஆனால் ரொம்ப சிரிச்சுட்டே கண்டிக்கவே மாட்டார் ஐ மீன் ஹில் நெவர் யூனோ ஸ்கோல்ட் யூ ஆர் ஹில் ஒன் டு ஒன் ரொம்ப ரேர் எப்பாவது தான் ஒன் டு ஒன் ரே கிளாஸ் இருக்கும் அது வந்து முதல்லலாம் ஐ யூஸ் டு மோஸ்ட்லி இந்த குரூப்பில் தான் இருக்கும் அம்மா வில் புஷ் மீ நீ கிளாஸுக்கு போ அப்போ அப்போ கூட ஏன்னா பதினாறு வயசு ஆச்சு அப்போ வந்து கிளாஸுக்கு போன்னு புஷ் பண்ணுவாங்க சரி நான் போய் அங்கேருந்து ட்வெண்ட்டி ஃபோர் ஏ டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபோர் பி இந்த மாதிரி பஸ் இருக்கேன் அது பிடிச்சிட்டு ராய்பட்டால் இருந்து இட்ஸ் வெரி க்ளோஸ் ஜஸ்ட் டென் மினிட்ஸ் தேர் போயிட்டு ச அண்ட் தென் ஐ சம்டைம்ஸ் ஐஸ் டு கோ பை சைக்கிள் ஆல்சோ போய் கிளாஸ் முடிச்சுட்டு அதுக்குள்ளே காலேஜ் டைம் ஆகிடும் ஸோ அஸ் ஒன் எக்ஸ்கூஸ் வேறு சீக்கிரம் காலேஜுக்கு ஓடி போயிடுவேன் ஸோ வாட் எவர் யூனோ ஏன்னா அந்த டைம்லலாம் ஒரு அம்பிஷன் கிடையாது மியூசிஷியன் ஆகணுங்கிறத தாட்டே கிடையாது ஃபார் மீ ஐ ரிக்வயர்ட் சம்படி லிட்டில் மோர் ரிஜிட் சம்படி வுட் மேக் மீ சிட் அண்ட் நீ பண்ணு இந்த மாதிரி உக்காந்து பண்ணணும் இல்லைனா உன்னை தொலைச்சி போடுறேன் போடுவேன்னு சொல்ல மாதிரி அந்த மாதிரி யாராவது ஒருத்தர் ஐ நீட் எனி வெல் கம் டு தட் லேட்டர் so this went on this i used to go for classes and then um navaratri mandavathile sir vandu he was uh, he sings every year so, so one of the uh, years i think it was 1986 87 he knew that i had the potential but he was not a person who would really force and push so this navaratri mandapam uh, concert he wanted me to sing along with him so that was a great opportunity so then uh, i got a little tense so i, I had to prepare avu kuda padanum na i had to prepare so then i started spending more time a little more time and then i learned uh, janani mamava from there was a beautiful kriti which i learned from him and many other uh, kritis uh, i learned for that particular uh, concert gopalaka pahi mam apram rama rama pahi so um, so anmari you know, i learned all those kritis and then uh, went to trivandrum with him i accompanied him uh, and then stayed at the palace guest house and then uh, we were there for a couple of days so that was a great uh, there were great moments actually just being with him and uh, sharing so he, i mean he used to uh, share so many stories about uh, tiger ஓட கத்துன்றது அந்த தோஸ் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்சஸ் ஐ வென் ஃபார் மெனி அதர் கான்சர்ட்ஸ் அலாங் வித் ஹிம் ஐ பெர்ஃபார்ம்ட் இன் நைன்டீன் எயிட்டி ஜஸ்ட் பிஃபோர் ஹீ பாஸ்ட் அவே ஹிஸ் லாஸ்ட் கான்சர்ட் வாஸ் அட் தி கிருஷ்ணகாந்த் சபா ஹி வாஸ் வெரி சிக் ஸோ ஹிஸ் சன் ராஜு டோல்மி உன்னி நீ வந்து அப்பாவோட நீ நீ பாடணும் இன்றைக்கி அந்த வயசுலேயும் ஒரு சா பிடிச்சா பிடிச்சாருனா அவ்வளோ சுஸ்வரமாக இருக்கும் அந்த ஈவன் அட் தட் ஏஜ் தட் வாஸ் அ கைண்ட் ஆஃப் ப்ராக்டிஸ் ஹீ ஹேட் டன் பட் தட் மூமெண்ட் ஆஃப்டர் அபவுட் ஹாஃப் அன் ஹவர் ஹீ சடன்லி செட் நீ கொஞ்சம் சங்கராபரணம் பாடு நான் முன்னாடி சங்கராபரணம் பாடினதே கிடையாது எனக்கு தெரியும் சங்கராபரணம் என்னன்னு பட் ஐ ஹட் நாட் அட்டெம்ப்டட் இட் ஆர் ப்ராக்டிஸ்ட் இட் ஐ டோன்ட் நோ நான் என்ன வந்ததோ அப்படியே ஐ ஜஸ்ட் சாங் சங்கராபரணம் டோட்லி ஹிஸ் 
blessings i i don't know how i sang that day that was the last uh, concert that he did and uh, nmn nm narayan avaru kuda and the concert pathi ezhudindar and apa uh, da he that was my the first time uh, a mention came about me in the in the newspaper and then after that uh, i mean he he didn't do any concerts but i used to just go uh, um, to his uh, house and just be with him uh, his health started deteriorating then he couldn't uh, really take classes and all that at that time uh, he called uh, savitri satyamurthy he told her nee una paathuko avangala சொல்லிக் கொடு அவன் நல்லா வருவான் நீ நல்லா சொல்லிக் கொடுன்னு தென் ஷி ஜஸ் டுக் ஓவர் அப்படியே என்னோட ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கான்சர்ட் அது ஒரு வெரி இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் அப்போ டாக்டர் சா ராம்நாதன் சார் ஓட கிளாஸில் எம் ஓ ஸ்ரீனிவாசன் அவர் வருவார் ஹி ஹீஸ் ஆல்சோ கிரிக்கெட்டர் இஸ் ஆஸ் யூஸ் அ டெஸ்ட் கிரிக்கெட்டர் அண்ட் ஹி வாஸ் அ கிரேட் அட்மைரர் ஆஃப் ராம்நாதன் சார் ஸோ அவர் வந்து தாசாஞ்சலின்னு ஒரு ஆர்கனைசேஷன் நடத்திட்டு இருந்தார் அதில் ஹியூஸ் டு ப்ரமோட் லாட் ஆஃப் யங் ஆர்டிஸ்ட் சாஸ்திரி ஹாலில் தான் எப்போவுமே நடத்துவார் ஸ்ரீனிவாஸ் சாஸ்திரி ஹாலில் தட் பர்டிகுலர் இயர் இட் மஸ்ட் ஹவ் பீன் நைன்டீன் எயிட்டி செவன் ஓ சம்திங் ஹி செட் நீ வந்து இந்த வருஷம் நான் உன்னை தாசாஞ்சலியில் போடுறேன் நீ கச்சேரி பாடணும் ஐ சட் இல்லை இல்லை மாமா அதெல்லாம் வேண்டாம் நான் அப்புறம் பார்த்துக்கலாம் நான் போயிட்டேன் ஐ கம்ப்ளீட்லி ஃபோகோட்டை போட்டு சடன்லி மை மதர் கால்மி ஏய் யுவர் நேம் இஸ் தேர் ஐ யூ சிங்கிங் இன் சாஸ்திரி ஹால் ஆன் திஸ் டேட் யுவர் நேம் இஸ் தேர் எம்ஓ ஸ்ரீனிவாசன் தாசாஞ்சியில் உன் பேரை போட்டிருக்காருன்னு எனக்கு ஒரே பயங்கர பக்குன்னு ஆயிடுச்சு ஒரே டென்ஷன் ஐ ஹேட் டு ஐ ஹேட் டு சிங் பிகாஸ் த நேம் எவ்ரி திங் பிரிண்ட் ஹீட் பிரிண்டட் த இன்விடேஷன் எவ்ரி திங் அண்ட் தென் தென் ஐ ஹேட் டு கைண்ட் ஆஃப் ப்ரிப்பேர் ஏனோ என்ன பாடுறது ஐ நியூ வெரி ஃபியூ கிருதிஸ் ஸோ ஐ ஸ்டில் ரிமெம்பர் ஐ சாங் பஜரே ரேச்சித் அண்ட் துர்மார் கச்சாரா நினைக்கிறேன் அது ரஞ்சினியில் அதுவும் பாடினேன் ராம்நாத சார் வந்திருந்தார் உண்மை சொல்லலை நல்லா பாடு சொல் எவ்வளோ எதுவுமே எதுவுமே சொல்லவே மாட்டார் ஒன்றும் சொல்ல மாட்டார் அப்புறம் சின்ன சின்ன விஷயங்கள் இது இப்படி இப்படி இருந்தால் இன்னும் கொஞ்சம் நல்லாயிருக்கும் இப்படி பாடியிருக்கலாம் இப்படி பாடலாம் அப்படி சொல்லுவார் அதே வந்து சாவித்ரி மாமியார் தான் நொறுக்கி அடிச்சு கொண்டு பீஸ் பீஸ் ஆக்கிட்டு இருப்பாங்க சாவித்ரி மாமி வந்து ஐ மீன் ஷீ வாஸ் லைக் ஒரு போலீஸ் மாதிரி ஒரு கிளாஸில் பாட பண்ணுது அடுத்த கிளாஸில் ஒப்பிச்சு பாடி ஆகணும் ஐ நீடட் தட் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் ஒரு இந்த மாதிரி ஆர்மி கேம்பில் எப்படி அந்த ட்ரைனிங் இருக்கும் அந்த மாதிரி ஐ நீடட் சம் சம்படி லைக் தட் அதில் தான் ஆரம்பிச்சது கொஞ்சம் அந்த சீரியஸ்னஸ் அல்லனா சும்மா ஐ வாஸ் ஜஸ்ட் வாண்டரிங் அபவுட் நாட் சீரியஸ் அபவுட் மியூசிக் ஒன்றுமே தெரியாது ஸ்வரம் பாட தெரியாது ராகம் பாட தெரியாது ஒன்றும் ஒன்றும் தெரியாது இன்ஃபேக்ட் வெரி இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் இன்சிடெண்ட் திஸ் வாஸ் நைன்டீன் எயிட்டி மென் வாஸ் இன் ஸ்கூல் ஆல் மேபி ஜஸ்ட் அவுட் ஆஃப் ஸ்கூல் மை ஆண்ட் மாம் சிஸ்டர் வாஸ் இன் சிங்கப்பூர் ஸோ சிங்கப்பூரில் வந்து ஐ ஐ வென்ட் வித் மை கசன்ஸ் டு ஸ்பெண்ட் மை வெக்கேஷன் வித் தெம் So, my aunt arranged one concert in the Indian Fine Arts in Singapore. I was just singing songs. 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 Then she went and arranged another concert in the radio station. I was just singing songs. I was just singing songs. 
சரி போனேன் சரி போயிட்டு இதே மாதிரி பாட்டு பாட்டாக பாடின்னு இருந்தேன் ஸோ தென் அந்த ப்ரோக்ராம் எக்ஸிக்யூட்டிவ் தே சார் கொஞ்சம் ஒரு பாட்டில் ஒரு ஸ்வரம் பாடுங்க அந்த ஸ்வரம் பாடினா தான் அந்த கர்நாடிக் மியூசிக் அந்த இதில் போட முடியும் ஐ டோல் தான் எனக்கு ஸ்வரம் பாட தெரியாதுன்ட்டு காரைக்குடி கிருஷ்ணமூர்த்தி தான் இப்படி தாங்க உண்ணி சும்மா ரெண்டு ஆவத்தில் பாடு எங்கே ரெண்டு ஆவத்தில் வரணுமே வரவே இல்லை அப்புறம் எப்படியோ அவங்க வந்து ஏதோ ஒரு வேறு டிவோஷனல் சாங்ஸ் அந்த கேட்டகரியில் போட்டு அந்த ப்ரோக்ராம் ஏதோ என்னமோ பண்ணாங்க இது நான் கேட்கக்கூட இல்லை அது அப்புறம் சாவித்ரி மாமி வந்து அந்த எப்படி அந்த ஸ்வரம் எப்படி பாடுறதுன்னு சொல்லி கொடுத்த அந்த சர்வலகு அப் அதுக்குள்ளே சாரோட கேட்டு 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 நிறைய அந்த ஸ்டைலில் அந்த பாணி மனசில் ஒரு மாதிரி பதிஞ்சுன்னு இருந்தது தென் ஐ ஸ்டு லிசன் ஐ ஸ்டார்ட் லிஸ்னிங் டு லாட் ஆஃப் மியூசிஷியன்ஸ் அப்போ அப்போ வந்து நிறைய மகாராஜபுரம் சந்தான சாரோட பாட்டு எனக்கு ரொம்ப பிடிக்கும் அவரோட வாய்ஸ் அவரோட ஸ்டைல் ஸோ அவர் பாட பாடுற கேசட்டெல்லாம் வாங்கி அதில் அவர் எப்படி ஸ்வரம் பாடுறாரு அதே மாதிரி எழுதி பாடி ப்ராக்டிஸ் பண்ணி அதே மாதிரி ஏன்னா ஸ்டேஜில் டக்குன்னு பா பா பாடுறது இட் டசன் ஜஸ்ட் கம் லைக் தேட் ஏனோ ஸோ ஐ ஹேவ் டு ப்ரிப்பேர் மை செல்ஃப் ஸோ ஐ ஹேவ் டு அது மனப்பாடம் பண்ணி சிட்ட சொல்கிற மாதிரி மனப்பாடம் பண்ணி ஐ இஸ் டு சிங் I used to sing and then uh, even ragam, I used to take one phrase and keep repeating it. Adhe Mari. Uh, then uh, Sartri Mami, she used to also help me. Paadi kudu paanga. The ragam pidi swaram, swaram paadi kudu paanga. Ragam paadi kudu. Adhala record pannu hai. Adhala record pannu hai. Adhe Mari. Paadi, paadi, paadi. Adhala kettu, 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 kettu. And the time when sometimes, Nambilu ke, Uru koma pura, Enna da, Yemangu titi te irukha anga. ரொம்ப ஒரு ஃப்ரஸ்ட்ரேட்டிங்காக இருக்கும் அவங்க டைமிங்னா அந்த டிசிப்ளின் அவங்க தான் சொல்லிக் கொடுத்தாங்க இன்ஃபேக்ட் எங்கள் ராம்ஸ் அப்பார்ட்மெண்ட்ஸ் இப்போ இருக்கு இல்லையா அந்த ராம்ஸ் அப்பார்ட்மெண்ட்ஸ்க்கு வந்து ஆல் தோ தட் பிளேஸ் யூஸ் டு பிலாங் டு அஸ் பிகாஸ் தட் வாஸ் வேர் ஆர் ஆன்சஸ்டல் ப்ராப்பர்ட்டி திஸ் கேசரி குட்டி ரம் பாஸ் ஈவன் பிஃபோர் வீ மூவ்ட் இன் டு ராம்ஸ் அப்பார்ட்மெண்ட் சாவித்ரி மாமி மூவ்ட் இன் டு தட் ஹவுஸ் அண்ட் அப்போ வந்து லிஃப்ட் வாஸ் நாட் ரெடி ஷீஸ் டு கோ இன் தட் அந்த இந்த லிஃப்ட் இல்லை இந்த ஒர்க்கர்ஸ் எல்லாம் கொண்டு போவாங்களே இந்த சிமெண்ட்டு மண் கல் அதெல்லாம் அதில் போயிட்டு போயிட்டு வந்துட்டு இருந்தாங்க கொஞ்சம் நாளைக்கு டெல் தஸ் லிஃப்ட் வாஸ் ரெடி ஷீ செட் ஐ ஆம் ஜஸ்ட் மூவிங் ஷீ மூவ்ட் அண்ட் ஷீ வாஸ் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டு ஆக்யூபை தட் ப்ரைமிஸஸ் So she, I was, we were in the second floor, she was in the fifth, fifth floor. So it was very easy for me also. But it's easy for her to access me also. So uh, if I don't reach at 7.5, she will wait 2-3 minutes, she will come down. Where are you? So uh, that, was, uh, that was something I needed. I needed that kind of uh, regimented kind of training. association for classical which we started during college that was the time i came in contact with uh, vijay shriram sanjay krishna krishna was of course my, uh, much younger shriram gangadhar saumya and jay shri sudha was a little senior santana gopal but they were not directly involved uh, in the organizational uh, uh, this thing we wanted to create a platform for us so just being with them going with them for concerts uh practicing with them we used to practice together myself vijay sanjay ashok ramani used to be naga nariya and ashok alla abbe enna raagam kodutalum paadnu he will just sing and the time the time alla you know and uru virtham chumma paadi paada utta abbe paadinde paadinde irpar and uh, sanjay Sanjay, of course, so much of music he has heard in his childhood. Sanjay is one person who has really inspired me. 
as a friend. See, when your friends are very, very important at a, at, at a certain stage in your life, peers, your peers really influence you a lot. They say that they are a Vedava Kumari. So, Sanjay, Sriram, Arun Prakash, they have been a great influence on my life. Uh, music they have introduced me to so many good musicians he is in the in the party kele jnb sir or in the tape in the number in the in the concert illa in the saveri and the saveri poi and the sangathi poi kele nu avlo minuta they have uh, heard the uh, hundreds of times you know avanga ipo sanjay la gnb vandu karachu he knows which tape la endha sangadi endha kacheri la paadi irukkaru ni he knows so and the mari so he used to uh, say you listen to this you listen to ramnath krishnan you listen to uh, madhurmani appo na nariya kacheri kekka aarambithen i started imitating uh, musicians i would take from them that was the only way to equip yourself see fortunately unfortunately i had a good voice the opportunity started coming because i could sing well but i i didn't have the stuff i i needed to uh, you get equip myself with singing ragam naraval swaram or kacheri paadrathukana and the stuff vandu i had to develop so that was a huge pressure on me because i used to go for concerts with them um they used to come for my concerts and they used to really sanjayla is calls a spade a spade enna da paadna iniki he said kevala maarudhu enna da thodi paadna indha mari la so nalla irundha he'll say nalla irundhu iniki kambuji was very nice so i still remember krishna gan sabala he had come for a con so he called me and said very nice uh, நல்லா இருந்தது உன்னி ரொம்ப ஐ எம் சோ ஹாப்பி தட் யூ ரியலி பீன் ஏபிள் டு அப்சர்வ் அண்ட் டேக் தோஸ் சங்கதீஸ் அண்ட் தி பில்ட் அப் ஆஃப் த ராகா ஸோ தட் வாஸ் தட் அண்ட் ஹி டசன் சே இட் வெரி ஈஸிலி ஐ மீன் சஞ்சய் நோயிங் ஹிம் ஸோ தட் வாஸ் அ ஹியூஜ் கான்ஃபிடென்ஸ் பூஸ்ட் ஐ ஹேட் தட் ஃபீலிங் தட் ஐ ஐ வாஸ் லேக்கிங் a lot in my only strong point was my voice which could take me i could sing anything i wanted if i if i practiced and if i was able to get the right aesthetic approach and understood the right aesthetics then uh, festember uh, competition in rec trichy that is a huge uh, very prestigious competition adile vand we we had given our uh, entry and uh, carnatic music entry la uh, vijay was also there so he obviously you know he said ni carnatic music paadidu na vand light music and the part la na paadiren the kanne kalai mane all those songs and the time la irundha the super hit songs la all that we used to do then vijay said ni paadu na mrudhava sikra sriram violin was i said no 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 naal paadamatta niye paadikonde avan thala he said nothing to nee dhan paadra namba practice pannala solittu koluvama regada koluvama regada enak enna paattu enna theriyum ketta enak appo la romba kammiya dhan enak theriyum kirthanangal la onnume romba பாடாந்தெல்லாம் கிடையாது ஸோ அந்த கொலோரம கொலோம ரேகதா அதை வந்து ப்ராக்டிஸ் பண்ணி டெய்லி ப்ராக்டிஸ் அண்ட் நான் வந்து அப்போ வந்து ஏதோ ஒன்றையில் ஏதோ பாடிட்டு இருந்தேன் பட் விஜய் நியூ தட் ஐ குட் சிங் அட் ஹை எனக்கு தெரியாமல் ரெண்டரை வச்சுட்டாங்க ரெண்டரை கட்ட ஸ்ருதியில் எனக்கு தெரியாது நான் பாட்டு பாடிட்டேன் எனக்கு ஒன்றும் ஐ ஹேட் நோ ப்ராப்ளம் ஸோ ஐ டென்ட் இவன் நோ ஸோ தென் ரெண்டர் கட்ட வச்சு பாடிட்டோம் நல்லா ப்ராக்டிஸ் பண்ணி போய் ஃபஸ்ட் ப்ரைஸ் ஃபஸ்ட் ப்ரைஸ் வாங்கிட்டோம் வி காட் தி ஃபஸ்ட் ப்ரைஸ் ஃபார் கர்நாடிக் மியூசிக் குரூப் தட் பர்டிகுலர் இன்சிடென்ட் வாஸ் அ ஹியூஜ் பூஸ்ட் 
to my that the level of confidence so i enala panna mudiyum ingrada i think i should thank uh, vijay for it. i was not initiated into carnatic music very early so i never listened to concerts and all those things so i started very late and so i had a lot of work to do that lot of catching up to do so every concert i had to prove myself and my guru was very particular that i sing well i don't make a mistake uh, uh because the blame shouldn't fall on her and all those pressures were always there so every concert used to be especially you know singing in the season uh, the season concerts always uh, and there's always that hype that is created about this uh, the music academy singing in the music academy <laughs> you know my guru also oh, nalla paadnu seriya paadnu and inga thappu varakudada anga nee olunga practice pannalena anga nee edavad paadiruva anga kona maana nu edavad pani in the mari is only you know you get pressurized so uh, sometimes i just enjoy singing in some temple free ishtathukku enna varudho you know music has to be there should be free you have to sing with freedom <laughs> there, should, there should not be any pressure illa yeah. so i think uh, um, sometimes i always enjoyed singing uh, for just the general public not particular or sabha with a lot of uh, eyes watching <laughs> where you're going wrong <laughs> and things like that i mean those are it's all part of this. it also kind kind of uh, gives you a different perspective i think i i definitely perform better outside <laughs> to the extent that sometimes i say in the academic kachari i think you come to some other concert <laughs> savitri mami uh, was very very possessive about me and she was very very careful she didn't want me to அந்த ராம்நாதன் சாரோட பாணி விட்டு வெளியில் போகக்கூடாது அது அப்படியே மெயின்டைன் பண்ண அதே காப்பாத்தின்றே அது அதே பாடாந்தரம் அதே அப்படியே அண்ட் யூனோ ஷி யூஸ் டு எல்லா சாங்ஸோட நோட்டேஷன் ஐ ஹாவ் ஃபைல்ஸ் அப் ஆல் த சாங்ஸ் தட் ஷி இஸ் கைப்பட ஷி இஸ் ரைட் எவ்ரி திங் அண்ட் கீப் ஸோ நீட் அண்ட் அதுக்கு ஜெராக்ஸ் எடுத்து அந்த ஜெராக்ஸ் எடுக்கிறது வந்து அது எடுத்து உடனே கொடுத்துடணும் அது மார்னிங் எடுத்து ஈவினிங்லாம் கொடுக்க முடியாது எடுத்து உடனே ஒரு ஹாஃப் அன் ஹவரில் அங்கே வெளியில் எடுத்து கொடுத்துடணும் அதெல்லாம் அங்கே கீழே வந்துடுவாங்க எங்கேயாச்சும் காப்பி சொல்லிட்டு ஷி ரெடிட் சம்மையாக இருந்தது இந்த பேப்பர் சேங் தட் தேர் த ஃபோர்ட் ஃபவுண்டேஷன் இஸ் ஆர்கனைசிங் அ ஒர்க் ஷாப் பை பிருந்தா அண்ட் டி விஸ்வநாத் அண்ட் தேர் லுக்கிங் ஃபார் students to learn the bani so she said ni ni avangitta kattukano ni ni apply pannu so then i applied and uh, many people apply lot of people um, applied for that and uh, i we went for the interview i went and sang in front of uh, brindama and vishwa sir with it the first time i went uh, i couldn't i didn't we were not able to understand i mean no enna gamakku what is that <laughs> they're doing ne puriyave illa adu brindama just completely a new uh, out of syllabus mari irundhu romba indha sambandhame illama ena avanga vandu notation idella pustakam vechale or mari sarcastic ah paapanga na புக்கா அவ்வளோதான் ஐயோ அது அந்த இதுலேயே நம்ம பாதி கேஸ் போயிடும் ஸோ யூனோ தேங்க்ஃபுல்லி யூனோ விஸ்வா சார் வந்து ஈ வாஸ் லைக் ஈ வாஸ் லைக் ஈ வாஸ் லைக் அ ஃபாதர் டு ஆல் ஆஃப் அஸ் யூனோ ஹி ஹி வுட் அம்மா வா வெரி ஸ்வீட் ஆஃப் அஸ் பட் or on the he he would be there and he he would 
notate everything. Since he taught in the Wesleyan University, and he he has uh, kind of uh, adapted uh, the and the, the, the notation the way and the Gamaka's sort of notation when the minute our Nariya Panir Karala. Other than the Rumba Araga Eglik Soli Gurthar. That made us understand that Gamakam. Uh, so, so beautifully. Appada Ada Ada Puriyar Michel and the and the aesthetics and the and the Danama and the Danama Bani Brindama. Mukta malam pada, anda, orang orang apa orang ada cake cake cake, ada pernah, anda, padams, jawlis, anda kerthanams, they taught, then started making sense, and then it became an addiction. Apa orang, ada itu, beli le baru aje mudi le, anda lalu kuru impact it created. I mean, I wouldn't say my music is one particular. Bani or one particular style. It's it's a combination of I think learning from so many different gurus. Calcutta K S Krishnamurti, what an amazing uh, musician. Sanjay used to learn from uh, K S K Mam. Sanjay he will tell me any K S K gatta kathko ani po aur gatta allar ko apni da nam pona. Mami gatta kono jana chola vele. I don't know if I'm going to die. I'm going to die. So... After that, I told him something else. I told him something else. Who told him something else? Where did he tell him? That's it. So, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. So... But then, you know, after that, things were okay. Because she also had great respect for KSK. Great teacher. That was creativity. Amazing. If you want to pray for a person, you can pray for a person. Even the Krithis, his thought process and the Sangatis and the ideas will be very, very unique. He will teach each student the way his voice modulation. That poor thing that I was telling you. But in that sense, I am not all of them. I am correct. I am. 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 Sarigada ninnu nammi yundi edhi Sarigada... The Swarakshara Kriti Allah Nariya Pannirkar. Such a... Such an intelligent musician. Such a... And... Edha adu pallavi illa keta arunna odane compose manadu varu. And... It won't be the normal. इधर तो रो twister को दिला and very passionate. अमन तेरी जो तो ये लाती हो ना अमन कुड़कनों ग्रह रो ये नो रखा हो. It just gives everything. That I also learned from P S N and S R J S R. That's another Bani the Shamgudi Bani. Very effective. Every Kriti is when you sing and the and the Bani on the Ebru ina apulo ru tight tarco, the sangati is one nadikadika, uru anda sequence, abdiya sequence shila abdi point ringo, uru rumba rumba aga ana uru bani that was a great experience learning from him and then of course S R J is like an encyclopedia, just sitting with him and listening to him. Singing and talking. Every class, something, something he will come up with. Some. Ena abru bande periyya fan. Brinda ma orda periyya fan. Swamnath pula. Ande oru bani bande. Amgala pati pesar michale aaranam chudar. Emotional aidor. 
యూనో అంత అనుకు ఒకరు సచ్ అ ప్యాషనెట్ మ్యూజిషియన్ స్వరం పాడరదు అంత ఒదికి ఒదికి పాడరదు అప్పుడు అంత ఒదికి ఒదికి పాడుறது வந்து அது ரொம்ப எஃபெக்டிவா இருக்கும் சர்வலகுவ பாப்பதபமபதபமபதபமகபமகரிசதுன்னு Murdangist will be, he has to really be on his toes. So that was an amazing insight. And the Swaro... You know, when you are able to adapt different, different styles into your singing, it creates a very different, uh, unique uh, uniqueness. Learning from so many greats, so, so many gurus, I think music... taught me humility because no artist can be greater than the art and learning from so many gurus i was truly amazed at how much more there is to keep learning and uh, apart from you know discipline and uh, the greatness of music ultimately you just feel humbled you just uh you feel you're just nothing in front of that great art and that learning continues till the end of your life that's the biggest lesson i think i've uh, learned and that's what is keeping me going we have to keep learning we have to keep improving I've always wanted to qualify myself and uh, work in a company or I I always had the option of uh, falling into falling back uh, into our uh, own business our family business but then I wanted to uh, have an experience working outside in a company uh, so that's why I qualified my I did my personal management I did my law for the BGL um, I wanted to do ACS. I enrolled for ACS and then I went for classes. I enrolled for uh, CFA. <laughs> I, all this I enrolled, but music would come in the way and just put a stop to all these things. Up to that, I never realized. I, I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to work. Uh, music was uh, aside this thing. In a... Up, then we didn't never had such opportunities i mean there was no uh, there's no there was not so much of uh, media hype or you know there was no television in mari reality shows or whatever or in mari publicity nobody knew it was very difficult but very few people had that uh, on the guts like i would say vijay shiva one person he from the beginning நான் எனக்கு மியூசிஷியன் ஆகணும் அவ்வளோதான் ஆமாம் எனக்கு வெரி லேட்டாக தான் ஐ குடன் ஐ டென்ட் வாண்ட் டு டேக் அ சான்ஸ் ஐ ஸோ தட்ஸ் ஹவ் ஐ ஒர்க் ஃபார் பேரி ஐ பிளேட் கிரிக்கெட் ஃபார் பேரி ஐ வாஸ் யூ நோ ஒர்க்கிங் தென் ஆஃப்டர் ஃபைவ் தேர்ட்டி ஐ டு கோ ஹோம் குவிக்லி சேஞ்ச் ஃபைவ் கான்சர்ட் ஐ வாஸ் டு கோ தென் 
ஐ இஸ் டு கோ ஃபார் அ லீக் மேட்ச் கிரிக்கெட் மேட்ச் ஆடி முடிச்சுட்டு போய் கச்சேரியெல்லாம் பாடியிருக்கேன் ஐ ஸ்டில் ரிமெம்பர் சாஸ்திரி ஹாலில் ஒரு கச்சேரி இருந்தது ஐ ஹேட் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டண்ட் லீக் மேட்ச் இன் தட் டே விச் ஐ குடன்ட் மிஸ் ஐ வென்ட் அண்ட் பிளேட் ஐ அன்னிக்கு பார்த்து ஐ ஸ்கோட் ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் ஃபிஃப்டி ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் ஃபிஃப்டி ரன்ஸ் அடிச்சுட்டு தென் ஐ ஹேட் டு ஃபீல்ட் த நெக்ஸ்ட் தேர்ட்டி ஓவர்ஸ் அகேன் and then i was so exhausted but then you were young at that time so somehow i was able to manage and sing i was profusely sweating up in shastri hall there was no ac so only fans <laughs> that was not enough for me after playing in the sun for the whole day and then came and sang saraguna palipa kedaragole <laughs> so adella in the marilla all kinds of nonsense have done uh, you know கிரிக்கெட் மேட்ச் முடிச்சுட்டு கச்சேரி போனது சொன்னேன் கச்சேரி முடிச்சுட்டு கிரிக்கெட் மேட்ச் தட் இஸ் அனதர் வெரி இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் இன்சிடெண்ட் என்ன நாகர்கோயில் ஒரு கல்யாணகுமாரின்னு நினைக்கிறேன் தி கான்சர்ட் லேட் நைட் முடித்து ஐ ஹேட் அ கிரிக்கெட் மேட்ச் நெக்ஸ்ட் டே அதுவும் ஐ குடன் மிஸ் ஐ ஹேட் டு கோ தி ஒன்லி வே டு ரீச் வாஸ் டேக் அ பஸ் ஃப்ரம் Can you imagine, Nagar Koyal is in the bus, Kacheri is in the bus, Nagar Koyal is in the bus, the time is going to go to the bus, it's almost 12 hours, it's almost 12 hours, so, it's going to go to GST Road, it's going to go to English Electric Ground, it's going to go to cricket match, so, it's going to go to the ground, it's going to go to the ground, it's going to go to the match, it's going to go to the match, it's going to go to the match, Uh, of course we were batting first and then i was going one down or something and then uh, we lost a wicket and then i went in avadi stands la eduthu avadi ninna the bowler came and then avadi paatha adhu paatha first ball bowled avadha <laughs> came back no sleep uh, sitting in the bus There are some good days, there are bad days. Sometimes you know your bad days, sometimes the audience may not know your bad days. You always think, oh, you know, when you're not a part of it, always that thought will be there. Are they married cricket also? You have your good days, bad days. You can get out of the first ball or you can just never get out. But we won the match, thankfully. <laughs> after i sang my film song enna vele adu paanadukku appuram after that you know lot of opportunities started then i started getting lot of offers for film singing also then i was finding it very difficult to manage this practice because then uh, i had to prove myself karnataka olunga paanano film i had to honor the commitments opportunities were coming Uh, but see, there was no ambition as such. There was no ambition as such. There was no ambition as such. And there was no thought as such. There was no point. There was no point. There was no point. There was no point. Things are just happening. No pressure from anybody. But uh, Pamana, they were very... They were doing well. They were doing well. But Amma was very particular that I should sing. I should continue singing. No, she, I mean, both of them really, uh, every concert they'll come. After I sang and everything, I, uh, the, that was the time when I also saw Priya, my wife, uh, and then we got married in November. December, suddenly one day, I came back with Mala, Bukke, Adala. I had resigned my job. <laughs> 
<laughs> but my priya was perfectly fine with her I mean, she was ago kalyanam mannade you know i don't know how we just got married up and there was a job in the also singing some kacheris uh, she also said okay <laughs> i mean things just uh, happened and we just uh, went with the flow so one fine day i just uh, resigned ena uh in march of 90 97 we got married 98 we i got the offer to first perform for my first us tour then you know i decided that it would not be fair to then have a job and then you know it's a responsibility i was i had a responsible job and it won't look nice going off in fact uh, mr uh, murugappan was a, the uh, managing director at that time he he also said not to worry my boss mr krishna kumar he also said nee edavadru periya responsibility illada edavadru vela onu kudukana you can still be here in a very very sweet that way but then i thought it would be too much of a pressure because already a lot of films uh, i started singing and then concerts so that was the time when i decided okay let's call it quits no work when we started our career uh, there was no at least for me i mean different people have different uh, ambitions and their thoughts and ideas uh, i I really never thought about the future. I was doing concerts, I was working, I was playing cricket. I was doing everything, sir. I was just letting it uh just with the flow. Uh because there was uh, since there was no real uh ambition in the in the I want to sing here, I want to sing there or I want to reach this level, I want to uh be this particular person or i i want to uh, reach that uh, level or whatever it is i mean that kind of a uh, thought never really uh, uh, i was never like that so i was just enjoying whatever i was doing so i was just doing everything at the same time and uh, so uh, that's how things were now i guess there's a lot of peer pressure there's so much of competition uh and uh, it's like survival of the fittest kind of thing now there's so many uh singers so many musicians so many um opportunities are also there so so there's always that feeling oh i need to get somewhere i need to uh, do this i need to do that i want to sing that we didn't even think of those things we just went with the flow of course i sing carnatic music and also other uh, genres like film devotional and everything if you learn carnatic music and if you are exposed to other genres you can easily adapt to any genre the aesthetics that we have in our music is so amazing and the, the, the draga structure the thala structure and um, the the gamakas structure uh, something which no music in this world uh has has explored that and 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 the nuances the nuances are anuswarangal so that something is which is amazing the same thing is with the game of cricket which i have experienced because cricket is a very very specialized game like in many other games uh, uh like um tennis or uh, even table tennis or sh- sh- hockey or b- badminton you have a backhand you have a forehand you probably have a slice and those are the few uh, a drop or whatever yeah. but in cricket you have so many different shots you have an on drive you have an off drive you have a a cover drive you have a a square drive you have a late cut you have a glance you have a pull you have a hook 
uh, now you have you have a helicopter shot <laughs> so cricket is so specialized the timing the the of the ball that um, you you will be able to adapt to any other game with the bat and ball so because i played cricket i i i find it very easy to adapt myself to shuttle tennis very easily very easily because the timing of the ball the contact that that is so so i always draw a parallel between both cricket arna i mean it's very easy to play other game golf same with carnatic music if you are exposed to different genres plus learn carnatic music you you will be able to sing any other form of music very easily the first uh, film song of course um, in our lay rajiv menon had actually given one of my classical albums to ar rahman that's how uh, rahman heard my voice but i didn't know about it so and uh, we had met in rajiv's place uh, uh, for one of uh, i think it was rajiv's birthday so he had come in rajiv's place we were just uh, discussing about music i was singing and uh i told raman you know i like to come to your studio to see how you're recording and uh, not to sing and all i just said i want to see your studio and but then he suddenly called me i was sitting in pari working on a month and there was some um romba it was a busy day and suddenly this call comes from raman he said say unni there is a song would you can you come and try <laughs> there were so many things going on one thing the work pressure was there i had to finish something that was one thing but more than that i ha- i was singing only carnatic music then i had stopped listening to film songs i was not singing film songs uh, at that time uh, for about 6 7 years i completely got uh, engrossed in carnatic music and practice and because of the pressures of the concerts and all that so suddenly when this came i was wondering whether i should really sing for a film whether it will be a problem and all those things were going on in my mind but i don't know what made me just decide i just called up uh, my mother and asked so she said just go and try so that's how i just went and uh, went and tried with no expectation i had a concert in bangalore so he said raman said you finish the concert and come we'll then do it a couple of after the concert uh, came back and then we recorded the song he said don't tell anybody just keep it to yourself as a song when it comes out let people know so i just sang and came up i forgot about it i never had any expectations var porada illa varuma illa onnu adha patti ingal kavale nu kedaadu no Right then after some time you know i uh, went to a studio and said i want to listen to it have you uh, the song then immediately he called his uh, sound engineer shiva and then uh, he made me listen to it i was completely <laughs> uh floored because the way he made me uh, the sound in that and the song the whole the nwla just listening to it for the first time because when i sang it there was just a uh, very basic uh, or chords and that's how he normally does with rhythm and just little basic chords but then this whole song when he played it it was quite uh, amazing it was quite a great feeling in fact i i don't remember uh, anything when i sang it but when i listened to the whole song for the first time later in a studio that i can, i can really visualize in experience of listening to uh, jesudas sir and the childhood those experiences uh, listening to uh, spb sir and all those songs singing those songs during school and college that really helped me uh, you know uh, sing uh, f- films with that ease without without having to really think it was there already uh, the and the muscle memory irund it was there so it, it it just had to be a switched on so rahman did the switch 
he switched it on and then that's how enable happened i've sung with almost all the tamil uh, malayalam music directors raja sir of course it's a great experience working with him not easy to sing his songs i mean not, as a it was a pleasure working with him because he's one person who really respects classical musicians he loves classical musicians the way he teaches you the song the, the kind of emotion that he brings in and the harmony put you which and the part paadumbodu and the and the feel kudukka adu adilla vandu or 50 60% kadachale periya vishayam adu fulla namalukku kondu vara mudiyadhu ena and the composer oda the, 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 the composer's emotion the the feel and this something outstanding is rajesh sir is so unique and was very very fortunate to work with him and then with uh, vidya sagar what an amazing musician uh, so many beautiful songs un samaya laragil naan uppa sarkaraya nee padikum marayil naan kangala puthagama that was vidya sagar then bharadwaj kartik raja yuvan shankar s a rajkumar sirpi and music director sharath johnson sharath is uh, one music director i have always enjoyed working because i i really like challenges and epome uh, in the complicated songs and i love to uh, sing because with the classical background and uh, the the carnatic Uh, this thing uh, you always and uh, one of the toughest songs in my career i had sung for sharath it's uh, called sudha mandram which is uh, for a movie called devadasi which is very very uh, very complicated i mean i i i don't know how he composed it i mean the way he but he just sings it so easily but it's one song uh, that people it became popular only later it, it, nobody knew about it uh, till the even if the after the movie, movie was released uh, nobody really knew about it it is only after people started singing it for the challenge round in reality shows that the song <laughs> became more popular and still people sing that song been really fortunate to work and even with a lot of telugu music directors uh, raj koti mani sharma and so many so many so many other another very important phase in my musical journey was um, my stint at uh, all india radio i started off from the siruvar isai when i was very young when when i was 10 11 i think people like uh, jay sri jagan l krishnan shamla swami many 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 great uh, uh, musicians who were there who i uh, was very fortunate to have worked with these are the people who are very less known but have contributed so much to the all india radio and because all india radio was the only medium of uh, music those days i was part of the all india radio choir where we used to record lot of choir music i was very fortunate to work with all those great musicians kunnakudi vaidyanathan sir even l krishnan uh, gk venkatesh uh, sudarshanam tr papa so uh, that was another phase which really uh, helped me appreciate light music melissa and singing choir is not easy it's 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 that's another world you don't know when these things help so that's why i say uh, an introduction to all this different genres really helped me if i'm a playback singer also today it's all because of that experience working with those great musicians
Only the Carnatic audience, they are very possessive. They don't like you to sing for films or... Uh, they always say, yeah, yeah, this is my part, part, right? Or they, they may not sometimes say, but there will be, you can see the vibes, the feel, their... Uh, cinema part part right light music part no mari nare so adnali sometimes you know uh, because i was also a popular uh, carnatic musician uh, there was also that pressure ayyo the part na adnali nare light music concerts na panla i refused in fact even gurvati rahman uh or a concert could have uh, when he called i said no which i thought was a very very wrong decision that i made uh which is a opportunity missed so some some opportunity the mari da some but then you know you don't at the time la the situation just made me do that but i regret it I always feel, எல்லாம் பண்ணியிருக்கலாம் அதனால் எல்லாம் பண்ணோம் ஜஸ்ட் கோ ஃபர் இட் தட்ஸ் வட் ஐ ஐ ஐ வுட் அட்வைஸ் தி யங்ஸ்டர்ஸ் ஆஃப் டுடே பீப்புள் மே சே எனி திங் பட் யூ டூ வாட் யூ வாட் யூ வாட் யூ என்ஜாய் வாட் இஸ் ரைட் வாட் இஸ் பிகாஸ் மியூசிக் இஸ் 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 அன் ஓஷன் அண்ட் Uh, if you are able to do everything all the genres that's a way to go if you if you are able to uh, manage different genres of music if you are able to do western if you are able to do ghazals you are able to do hindustani why not do this every every genre is great and everything is has its own value everything has is so beautiful juggling between carnatic and films it's not easy because sometimes after a concert the next day your voice is a little stiff because of uh, and those days we used to do 3 hours 4 hours sometimes concerts you just go on singing we don't uh, we don't there was no we never expected anything we used to just sing moon manera moon ra manera sometimes there will be a, and you don't know when they go call you for a recording you can't cancel the concert nor can you cancel the recording <laughs> so you 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 do the concert okay and go f- next day sometimes there'll be a strain sometimes they'll say shoot to pono urgent and then you have to go and sing it and then sometimes it may not work out if they are okay they'll wait they'll say okay the, we'll send this thing and we can you do it once your vo- voice becomes your fresh uh sometimes i've lost some good songs like that because the voice was not was strained on that particular day so those are some unfortunate but then i believe that you know if you have to sing a song you will sing it otherwise somebody has somebody has uh, else has the opportunity another person sings it good for him <laughs> no regrets <laughs> there are many ways of looking at that particular one thing is uh visibility people are always seeing you they remember you which is which is a good thing and it's a popular uh, show and then you know you're able to train a lot of children i mean you're able to share your experiences and your uh, because we have training sessions so you're able to give a lot of input and um, yeah i think those are the good things about uh, being on a reality show the only cons is the next day you are completely you know almost <laughs> immobilized because you're so tired because it, there is no the, the only break is the lunch break that you have otherwise you know it the shoots can go on very late 
and uh, and there is no planning i mean it's whatever you say is you listen to the contestant and you just give your comment so you don't think or plan what you're going to say you need to really concentrate on the singing and think at that point what you're going to tell them it should not be very similar to what other judges say you you have to give your take on the singing it's a lot of fun also there's a lot of uh, the anchors they also create a lot of uh, excitement and fun engla geli pannuvanga judges chuma karachan irupanga just very very light hearted but when it comes to judgment it is very serious and very focused so the whole day is very intense for that matter you know so you are very tired the next day so normally i don't accept anything on the following day of the shoot because you will not be able to uh, especially a concert and unless it's really uh, unavoidable uh, i prefer not to there is pressure this as a com- competition progresses the pressure builds so the people who are able to handle that pressure are the ones who are able to get to the top 5 it's like any sport after a point i mean all of them sing well all the comp- uh, contestants the top 10 if you see the top 10 sing very well all of them sing well which is difficult to choose for us it becomes very difficult to choose but where they will falter is their the the pressure how that pressure tells on each of them which affects their performance it's just like any sport if you take tennis as a sport the top 10 guys are almost same level you can't differentiate but it's where a federer and a nadal or djokovic uh stays there in the top is the way they are able to handle the pressure then it's all in the mind it's a mind game so that's the same thing here also it's in your mind you should be able to கேர் பண்ணாமல் பர்ஃபார்ம் பண்ணும் உள்ளே இருக்கும் அந்த பயம்லாம் இருக்கும் அந்த ப்ரெஷர் இருக்கும் அதை காமிக்க கூடாது யூ நோ யூ ஷுட் நெவர் ஷோ இட் இட் ஷுட் நாட் ஷோ இன் யூ ஷுட் நாட் ஷோ இட் யூ ஷு இட் ஷுட் நாட் ஷோ இன் யுவர் சிங்கிங் அண்ட் தேட்ஸ் வேர் யூ சக்சீட் இட்ஸ் இட்ஸ் லாட் ஆஃப் ப்ரெஷர் ஃப்ரம் பேரண்ட்ஸ் சேனலில் இருந்து ப்ரெஷர் இருக்கும் பிகாஸ் ஐ லவ் டு பர்ஃபார்ம் வெல் சாங்ஸ் சாய்ஸ் ஆஃப் சாங்ஸ் சம்டைம்ஸ் இஸ் சாங்ஸ் ஆல் சாங்ஸ் தே கேன் நாட் சிங் தேர் சம் சாங்ஸ் தே ஓன் கெட் ரைட்ஸ் so then you'll have to switch to some other song you'll have to the, um, it may not be your choice but you may have to sing it uh, there, there, there is no choice <laughs> so then uh, you have to do your best in the song which is not your choice and as the competition progresses the title okay the winner <laughs> am i going to get it i'm so close but will i make it it all it'll all be working so it's tough very tough i think uh, my family is a huge support my parents of course uh, who always guided me all all through and my wife is a huge huge support uh, she's always there behind us and pushing us also you know she's the one pushing us to do this do that since i am also performing and uh, traveling and so many other so many commit commitments somebody there at home needs to anchor all this and be a source of support uh, so somebody who's always there to fall back and that i think uh, my wife is a huge uh, pillar of uh, support she has sacrificed her uh, career she could have become a very good dancer and she's a even if even today if she if she dance she has that grace very naturally and uh, i'm not saying it because she's my wife but you know she's very very naturally gifted she gave it up to take care of all of us and uh, 
of course my daughter uh, very focused she's a perfectionist my son of course see, both of them are very much into music like i said my son is an automobile engineer he works uh, in the uk now it's nice I mean, it's 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 enjoyable it's it's an enjoyable journey we just we're just taking it as it comes and <laughs> going with the flow like never put yourself under pressure that's very important because that can affect your work and your performance you don't pressurize anybody nor do you get pressurized i mean everybody has to be comfortable in their own space only then everybody can work together and on stage once you're there it's us it's not me without your musicians what can you do that's the same thing about life i think be a good human being it's the simplest thing you can do <laughs> if you make others happy you definitely get back that happiness you see happiness in somebody you're happy it's a give and take life is just about it's so easy